Okay, there goes our motor. Our motor just failed on us. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna experiment today. All right. So I had a DPE explain to me how he wants to see engine outs take place. So he wants 1,100 feet at our destination touchdown point that we're gonna call out, and then immediately 10 flaps and to best glide. So we're gonna see how that works. I've never done one that that way. Well, in our traffic, Scott, 781 Bravo Golf, left midfield downwind, runway 27, we'll be doing simulated engine out, touch and go, Orlando North. just the edge of the pond, the left side of that pond is going to be my touchdown point. So, we are now a beam, power out, he wants first notch of flaps, and we're going to trim for our best glide, which is about 65, 70 in this. Okay, we're going to get her there, and we're going to watch ourselves, there we go. So this is what he likes, so we're going to see how this works. Now what you're about to see here is me completely blow this maneuver. Um, it is 100% my fault that we came up exactly the way that we did. And those of you that are about to do your CFI initial check ride, tell me in the comment section below, what FOIs do you see me touch on here as this video continues going? So there we are, we're at Best Glide now. And we're hands off at Best Glide, so we're trimmed out perfectly. All right. We're landing on our traffic. Scott 781 Bravo Golf, turning left base, runway 27, simulated engine out, touch and go. We're landing on north. Okay, so we're going to let it come down. He wants two flaps here. And if at any time we're feeling uncomfortable with this maneuver, we will just pull out and go around. Okay, we're going to turn. I do not like this. I do not like his method. We are going to come up way short. Yeah. I do not like his method at all. Who was it? I will not say on video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we're going to go full power. Fix my trim. And we're just going to go around. Orlando North traffic. Sky 781 Bravo Golf is going to be going around. Orlando North. Okay, so we're where we want to be. We're actually really fast. But that might help. All right, so... Traffic, Skyhawk, number 887, Echo Romeo is... Power out. ...10 miles to the uh, southeast of the airport. Flaps 10. Uh, we'll be entering a 45 left downwind for uh, runway 27. Uh, and we're trimming ourselves out. The black airport traffic. I'm going to go early this time to see if it works a little bit better with going early. We're letting our traffic, Scott 781 Bravo Golf, turning left base, runway 27, will be a touch and go, simulated engine out, Orlando North. Orlando North, starboard, do not leave a left cross land, do so. Right, and we'll wait here until you land. I'm just going to stay 10 flaps. So like I said, I still don't like the way that he wanted it done. Yeah. This looks better, but still not enough. Because to maintain my best glide, it's still not going to work. Maybe it will, I don't know. Leonard North traffic, Scott 781 Bravo Golf, on final runway 27, simulated engine out on Leonard North. The birds over the runway. This might actually work. Let's go 20 flaps. Another north two line, Lima, left down wind, two south, touch come. Let's actually go full flaps here. I kind of like it that way, turning a little earlier. Yeah, it seems a lot better. Oh, my student's not here yet. Ah, a little hard landing, but we made it, all right. Fifth Florida traffic, 
power out. Ten flaps. Trim ourselves. Because not only that though too, is if you go into a check ride and at the private level and you get your engine out emergency, if you choose an airport, they're gonna make you land. Yeah. Orlando North traffic. Scott 781 Bravo Golf turning left base for runway 27, simulated engine out, Orlando North. So I know a few private students that that's happened to. Oh, really? Yeah. Where they made a plan? Alaska traffic, yep. Skyhawk 414, Echo Romeo, facing miles south is uh, 2200, uh, traffic advisory. Orlando North traffic, Skyhawk 781, Bravo Golf, turning final runway 27, be a touch and go, simulated engine out, Orlando North. That's why you tell people, like, pick a field. They're not going to make you land in a field. <laughs> yeah. Until they're like, you know what? Flag Put her down. Is, uh, one join the pattern. But again, I, I think it's safer for at least a private pilot to know and understand the steep spiral and then to be able to land power out. Yeah. You're going to be a safer pilot if you can do that. That's true. All right, let's go 20 flaps. Get a little bit of our float going here. And full flaps. You know what? His method actually kind of works. I mean, we came in a little steep this time, a little high. But I also, I think I started it a little high because I overcorrected when I noticed I was low. Yeah. Okay. On the go. Okay, there goes our motor. Our motor just failed on us. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go 10 flaps. And we're going to trim ourselves. Get ourselves close to our escort. Echo Romeo is entering 45 now. Friendly 27 left traffic, uh, black traffic. Okay. I got my 45 out my back window. Let's start our turn. Orlando North traffic. Scott 781 Bravo Golf turning left base, runway 27, simulated engine out. Orlando North. Make sure you send me those later. I will. Mid-Florida <laughs> traffic, one Romeo Victor is leaving the area to the west. Okay, we're going more direct this call. time because I think Florida. I came a little too far out and the wind's picking up. Orlando North traffic, Scott 781 Bravo Golf on final, runway 27, be a touch and go, simulated engine out, Orlando North. Just watching my speed, making sure we're still holding best glide here because we do not want to stall. That's true. Black traffic, uh, Skyhawk 87, after Romeo's about to turn space. Oh yeah, look at this, perfect. Let's just go full flaps. Full flaps, get ourselves down. Ooh, I might have went full flaps too early. We're gonna make it though. No, we're not. Romeo, we are 10 miles Orlando North traffic, Scott 781 Bravo Golf going around. And we are traffic, uh, a beam. Uh, Ten flaps. Entering right base for runway one zero. Trim ourselves out. Pull some cabin air, I'm hot. I'll be flying in a t-shirt, I think, in the next lesson. Do you want to wear this now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew it was going to be nice. Florida traffic, 40 Delta Juliet, runway 18, with a turn out to the south this morning. Orlando North traffic, Scott 71 Bravo Golf, left base, runway 27, simulated engine out, Orlando North. We got today, Captain or Nick. Neither. Ooh, all right. Oh yeah, look at how high we are now. All right, so let's slip her in. I love side slips. Get down. Get down. Get down. 
Second notch of flaps, get my sales line back up. 887 Echo Romeo, come up with about fast. Uh, Slow ourselves down here with full flaps. The, uh, traffic, uh, traffic really quick. I'm gonna go around. Oh, my student's here. Oh, we're letting our traffic. Sky 71 Bravo Golf going around. Now on that last approach that you just saw there, I could have safely landed that, but because of how short the runway is, I did a go around because I wasn't sure if I can actually do a touch and go, and there was other traffic in the pattern, and I did not want to mess up anything that he was doing at that time. Also, you will see as we come around on this last pattern here, you're going to see us looking out the window um, back at the flaps. We didn't realize it until this last lap, but the flaps were intermittently working from the zero degrees to 10 degrees position. Uh, we troubleshot it and we realized that what it was is just the flaps indicator because they are electric flaps. So we didn't have any failures or, or anything. The indicator though would just get stuck on the retraction showing the flaps at 10 degrees even if they were at zero. So when I would move the flaps to 10 degrees from zero, the indicator already showed them at 10 degrees, so the flaps would not come out until I moved them beyond to the 20 degrees position. So just something to look back on, and you'll notice if you uh, if you got a good eye there throughout the video, and you'll be able to tell. And that's why on a couple of those approaches, we came in a little bit high, is because the flaps never went to 10 degrees like I thought they did, and they stayed at zero. So with all of that information, um, I guess we could say the, the method that the DPE told me about and the system he uses to do that, it, it makes a ton of sense. And it actually did work for us. I did a bunch more of this later on in the day um, that I did not have the cameras for, and they worked out pretty well. I plan to go and practice these some more because, I mean, power off 180s, they're a ton of fun. Um, but they're also a very challenging maneuver. So despite what you see throughout this video, I would have to say that his method works and it's definitely something I approve of. So if you want some more information on how to do it, shoot me a message and I'll give you the breakdown of it. Have a good one.